Welcome to Wandering Whispers, Mosaic ASMR. Today, I am showing myself building a Tree of Life mosaic at two times speed. Um, there are certain portions of the mosaic that I built when I guess I wasn't set up to film properly. So, um, especially at the end, but I will show some pictures of the completed mosaic at the end. So, while I'm building this mosaic at two times speed, I'll be reading about the Tree of Life from Wikipedia. The Tree of Life is a widespread myth or archetype in the world's mythologies related to the concept of the sacred tree more generally, and hence in religious and philosophical tradition. The expression Tree of Life was used as a metaphor for the phylogenetic, phylogenetic tree of common descent in the evolutionary sense in a famous passage by Charles Darwin. The tree of knowledge connecting to heaven and the underworld and the tree of life connecting all forms of creation are both forms of the world tree or cosmic tree and are betrayed in various religions and philosophies as the same tree. Religion and mythology. So, I'm going to start by reading about the European myths. Europe in Dictionnaire Mytho Hermetica, Paris, 1737. Antoine Jones Joseph. Alchemist identified the tree of life with the elixir of life and the philosopher's stone. In Eden in the East, 1998, Stephen Oppenheimer suggests that a tree worshipping culture arose in Indonesia and was diffused by the so called Younger Trias event of 10,900 BCE after which the sea level rose. The culture reached China, Sichuan. Then India and the Middle East. Finally, the finno eurocratic stand of the division spread through Russia to Finland, where the Norse myth of Yggdrasil took root. Germanic paganism and Norse mythology. In Germanic paganism, trees played, and in the form of reconstructive heathenry in Germanic neo-paganism, neo continue to play a prominent role, appearing in various aspects of surviving texts, and possibly in the name of God. The tree of life appears in Norse religion as Yggdrasil, the world tree, a massive tree, sometimes considered a yew or ash tree, with extensive lore surrounding it. Perhaps related to Yggdrasil, accounts have survived of Germanic tribes honoring sacred trees within their societies. Examples include Thor's oak, sacred groves, the sacred tree at Uppsala, and the wooded in Ermundsul pillar. In Norse mythology, the, the apples from Eun's ash box provided immortality for the 
once lived, until a pregnant woman fell and landed in an endless sea. Saved by a giant turtle from drowning, she formed the world on its back by planting bark taken from the tree. The tree of life motif is present in the traditional Ojibwe cosmology and traditions. It is sometimes described as Grandmother Cedar or Nukamis Kizig in Ashinobo Bimowin. In the book Black Elk Speaks, Black Elk, An Oglala Lakota Zoo, Medicine Man, Medicine Man describes his vision in which dancing around a dying tree that has never bloomed is transported to the other world, spirit world, where he meets wise elders, twelve men and twelve women. The elders tell Black Elk that they will bring him to meet our father, the two-legged chief, and bring him to the center of a hoop, where he sees the tree in full leaf and bloom, and the chief standing against the tree. Coming out of his trance, he hopes to see that the earthly tree is bloomed, but it is dead. Let's see. Alright. Ancient Iran. In the Evistin literature in Iranian mythology, there are several sacred vegetal icons related to life, eternally, eternality, and cure, like Amisha Spenta Omar Amortad, guardian of plants, goddess of trees, and immortality, Gokarina, or white Homa, a tree that its vivacity would certify continuance of life in the universe, Bas Tokamuk, a tree with remedial attributes attentive of all purple seeds, and destroyer of sorrow. Mashya and Mashyain, parents of the human race in Iranian myths. Barzum, copped offshoots of pomegranate gas or Oma that Zoroastrians use in their rituals. Oma, a plant unknown today that was source of sacred large sacred Oma planted by Aura, Aura Mazda. Araman created a frog to invade the tree and destroy it, aiming to prevent all trees from growing on earth. As a reaction, Aru Mazda created two car fish starring, staring at the frog to guard the tree. The two fish are always staring at the frog and stay ready to react to it, because Araman is responsible for all evil, including death, while Aura Mazda is responsible for all good, including life. Oma is another sacred plant due to the drink made from it. The preparation of the drink from the plant by pounding and drinking of it are central features of, of Zoroastrian rituals. Oma is also personified as a divinity. It bestows essential vital qualities, health, fertility, husbands for maidens, even immortality. The source of the earthly Oma plant is shining white tree that grows on a paradisical mountain. Sprigs of this white Oma are brought to earth by divine birds. Oma is the Avestan form of Sanskrit Soma. The near identity of the two in ritual significance is considered by scholars to point to a salient feature of an Indo-Iranian religion and dating Zoroastrianism. Another related issue in ancient mythology of Iran is the myth of Mashya and Mashya two trees were the ancestors of all living beings. This myth can be con 
considered as a prototype for the creation myth, where living beings are created by gods who have a human form. Ancient Mesopotamia and Urarta, the Assyrian tree of life, was represented by a series of nodes and crisscrossing lines. It was apparently unimportant religious symbol often attended to in Assyrian palace reliefs by human or eagle-headed winged genies or the king and blessed or fertilized with bucket and cone. Assyriologists have not reached consensus as to the meaning of this symbol. The tree of life has been attributed to, to it by modern scholarship. It is not used in the Assyrian sources. In fact, no textual evidence pertaining to the symbol is known to exist. The Epic of Gilgamesh is a similar quest for immortality. In Mesopotamian mythology, Etna searches for the plant of birth to provide him with a son. This has a solid provenance of antiquity being found in cylinder seals from a god. In ancient Urarta, the tree of life was a religious symbol and was drawn on walls of fortresses as, and carved on the armor of warriors. The branches of the tree were equally divided on the right and left sides of the stem, with each branch having one leaf and one leaf on the apex of the tree. Servants stood on each side of the tree with one of their hands up as if they were taking care of the tree. concept of the tree of life appears in the writings of the Baha'i faith, where it can refer to the manifestation of God, a great teacher who appears to humanity from age to age. An example of this can be found in the hidden words of the Baha'u'llah. Have ye forgotten that true and radiant morn, when in those hallowed and blessed surroundings ye were all gathered in my presence? beneath the shades of the tree of life, which is planted in the all-glorious paradise. Awestruck he listen, listened as I gave utterance to these three most holy words. Friends, prefer not your will to mine. Never desire that which I have not desired for you. And approach me not with lifeless hearts defiled with worldly desires and cravings. Would ye but sanctify your souls, ye would at this present hour recall that place and those surroundings, and the truth of my utterance should be made evident unto all of you. Also, in the tablet of Ahmad, of the Baha'u'llah, verily he is the tree of life, that bringeth forth the fruits of God, the exalted, the powerful, the great. The Baha'u'llah refers to his male descendants as branches and calls woman leaves. A distinction has been made between the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The latter represents the physical world with its opposites, such as good and evil and light and dark. In a different context from the one, of, one above, the tree of life represents the spiritual realm, where this duality does not exist. Buddhism. The Bo tree, also called the Bodhi tree, according to Buddhist tradition, is the Bipal Vicus Religiosa, under which the Buddha sat when he attained enlightenment. Bodhi at the Bodh Gaya, near Gaya, West Central Bihar State, India. A living Bipal at Anuradhapura, Ceylon, now Sri Lanka is said to have grown from a cutting from the bow tree sent to that city by King Ashoka in the 3rd century BCE. According to Tibetan tradition, when Buddha went to the holy lake Manasarovar, along with 500 monks, upon his arrival he installed the energy of Prayagaraj near Lake Manasarovar at a place known as Prayang. Then he planted 
the seed of this eternal banyan tree next to um, Mount Kilash, um, a mountain known as the Palace of Medicine Buddha. China. In Chinese mythology, a carving of a tree of life depicts a phoenix and a dragon. The dragon often represents immortality. A Taoist story tells of a tree that produces a peach of immortality every 3,000 years, and anyone who eats the fruit receives immortality. An archaeological discovery in the 1990s was of a sacrificial pit of Sengsingdu in Sichuan, China, dating from about 1200 BC. It contained three bronze trees, one of them four meters high. At the base was a dragon and fruit hanging from the lower branches. At the top is a bird-like phoenix, creature with claws. Also found in Sichuan from the late Han Dynasty is another tree of life. The ceramic base is guarded by a horned beast with wings. The leaves of the tree represent coins and people. At the apex is a bird with coins and the sun. Christianity. The tree of life, life first appears in Genesis 2.9 um, and 3.22.24 as the source of eternal life in the Garden of Eden, from which access is revoked when man is driven from the Garden. It then reappears in the last book of the Bible, the Book of Revelation and most predominantly in the last chapter of the book as a part of the new garden of paradise. Access is then no longer forbidden, and those who wash their robes, or as the textual variant in the King James Version has it, they do, they that do his commandments, have right to the tree of life. A similar statement appears in Revelations 2 7, where the tree of life is promised as a reward to those who overcome. Revelation 22 begins with a reference to the pure river of water of life, which proceeds out of the throne of God. The river seems to feed two trees of life, one on either side of the river, which bear twelve manner of fruits, and the leaves of the tree were of the for healing of the nations, or this may indicate that the tree of life is a vine that grows on both sides of the river, as John 15, 1 would hint at. Pope Benedict the Sixteenth has said that the cross is the true tree of life. Saint Bonaventure taught that the medicinal tree fruit of the tree of life is Christ himself. Saint Albert the Great taught that the Eucharist, the body and blood of, body and blood of Christ, is the fruit of the tree of life. Augustine Hippo said that the tree of life is Christ. All these things stood for something other than what they are, but all the same they were themselves bodily realities. And when the narrator mentioned them. He was not employing figurative language, but giving an explicit account of things, which had a forward reference that was figurative. So when the tree of life was also Christ, and indeed God did not wish the man to live in paradise without the mysteries of spiritual things being presented to him in bodily form, so then in the other trees he was provided with nourishment and this one with a sacrament he is rightly called whatever came before him in order to signify him. In Eastern Christianity, the tree of life is the love of God. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The tree of life is a vision described and discussed in the Book of Mormon. According to the Book of Mormon, the vision was received in a dream by the prophet Lehi, and later in the vision by his son Nephi, who wrote about it in the first book of Nephi. The 
vision includes a path leading to a tree symbolizing salvation with an iron rod along the path whereby followers of Jesus may hold to the rod and avoid wandering off the path into pits or water symbolizing the ways of sin. The vision also includes a large building wherein the wicked look down at the righteous and mock them. The vision said, is said to symbolize the spiritual plight of humanity and is well known and cited story within Mormonism. A Mormon commentator reflected a common Mormon belief that the vision is one of the richest, most flexible, and far-reaching pieces of symbolic prophecy contained in the standard works. Islam. The tree of immortality is the tree of life motif as it appears in the Quran. It is also alluded to in the Hadiths and Tasvir. Unlike the biblical account, the Quran mentions only one tree in Eden, also called the tree of immortality, which Allah specifically forbade to Adam and Eve. Satan disguised as a certain repeatedly told Adam to eat from the tree, and eventually both Adam and Eve did so, thus disobeying Allah. The Hadiths also speak about other trees in heaven. Ahmadiyya, according to the Indian Ahmadiyya movement founded in 1889, Quranic reference to the tree is symbolic. Eating of the forbidden tree signifies that Adam disobeyed God. Jewish sources. Hebrew, Hebrew for the tree of life is oh, etz kam kam. Hebrew for the tree of life is a common term used in Juda Judaism. The expression found in the book of Prover Proverbs is figuratively applied to the Torah itself. Etz kam is also a common name for yeshivas and synagogues, as well as the works of rabbinic literature. It is also used to describe each of the wooden poles to which the parchment of Sefer Torah is attached. The tree of life is mentioned in the book of Genesis. It is distinct from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. After Adam and Eve disobeyed God by eating from the tree, from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they were driven out of the Garden of Eden. Remaining in the Garden, however, was the Tree of Life. To prevent their access to this tree in the future, cherubim with a flaming sword were placed at the east of the Garden. In the Book of Proverbs, the Tree of Life is associated with wisdom. Wisdom is a tree of life to them that lay and hold upon her, and happy is everyone that retaineth her. The tree of life is associated with calmness. A soothing tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a wound, wound to the spirit. The Book of Enoch, generally considered non-canonical, states that in the time of great judgment, God will give all those whose names are in the Book of Life fruit to eat from the tree of life. Popular Culture Austrian symbolist artist Gustav Klimt portrayed his version of the Tree of Life in his painting, The Tree of Life. This iconic painting is later inspired the external facade of the new residence hall, also called the Tree House, a colorful, colorful 21-story student residence hall at the Massachusetts College of Art and Design in Boston, Massachusetts. In George Herbert's poem, The Sacrifice, the tree of life is the root on which, on which Jesus Christ was crucified, R-O-O-D, root, I guess, okay, in C.S. Lewis's Chronicles of Narnia, the tree of life plays a role, especially in the sixth published book, the first in the in-world chronology. Alex Broya's film Knowing ends with two young protagonists directed towards the Tree of Life. In season 13 of the TV series Supernatural, fruit from the Tree of Life is an important ingredient and spell to open a portal to an alternate reality. The angel Castiel is able to find the tree in Syria and returns from a mission 
this mosaic will be for sale on my Etsy link in the